back to the channel, all my hustlers and grinders and go-getters. It's Matt in the JoJo, and we're back with another video. And hopefully, you been making a shit ton of money because I know we have. Yeah, and um, we've been so busy lately that I feel like we got a little out of our groove with um, posting videos and going live. We had to skip last week. We just we really had no time. As um, as many of you have heard, we started tackling our biggest job of the year. And we just finished 40 loads today. And then we'll be, be then we'll be heading back there what Thursday to grab a few more things. So it's one of the biggest jobs we ever had. It's actually the second biggest job we ever had. But it was the most difficult and hard job we ever tackled. Let me tell you, the yes. hill there was no joke. It was like this. Yeah, the whole the their whole backyard is um, just on an incline, and it and so and they tore um, two huge decks down. So the big job that we ended up having, like that's already been done it's they also added the deck removal and hauling all of that wood off and um we're just up and down a hill up and down a hill throwing things down a really steep hill to the dump truck and so um definitely the most difficult job we've ever tackled but you know what we, what we did though we charged that money and let me tell you like this, Julio is a beast. He's like a lightweight redneck now. Yeah, he has been working his butt off too. And today was the very, very first day I ever heard him complain. Like he never complains. Never. And today, today he, uh, he I, what, what, what was it that he said? He said, my ankle hurts, my back hurts, <laughs> my arms hurt. We yeah. got too many jobs, <laughs> but he made it through it today. And a big shout out to my buddy, from Three Kings Hauling. He came out today and helped us tackle the rest of the job. Yep. Um, the, we did that because the people were on a bit of a time crunch with um, insurance. They needed to get this all taken care of so they could get, you know, update their insurance and they needed it done by a certain time. And we call, and plus, it's a lot of money. It was a lot of money and it felt really good to just share in some of that, you know, wealth with another junk hauler. Like, why not? So we are $13,767 away from our biggest month. And we still got like 14 or 13 days left. Yeah, April's only half done. So I think that um, that is a goal that we could we're definitely going to crush it. We got eight jobs tomorrow. I have no idea how we're going to get them all done, but we're going to get them all done. Yeah, I have a dentist appointment in the morning, so I'm actually not working. You're lucky, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so we got some people in the building. Who's I know. in the building? We Joe, have so Joe? many people. We have Brazo Valley. Uh, we have Junk 180. He says, What's cracking, Matt and JoJo? Those big, big hoarder jobs are a great character builder. They're great money. And yes, they do. They build character. They really make you appreciate your little small pickups. Oh, yeah. We did a couple of, what, four jobs a few days ago, and it felt like we didn't even work. It was so easy. Just pulling up and loading stuff up. Yep. Hauling for You says, uh, hi, guys. Here doing the oil change on the wife's van. Oh, that's really nice. You helped take care of your... Uh, wife's automobiles and okay. just so the viewers know too the jojo this is how she looks after picking up trash i took a shower she came home combed her hair put a t-shirt on and now we're live i haven't took a shower yet so i didn't have time i actually was running a really hot bath because this job you know we're having you know it's great with in junk removal to only pick up items once but with this, we're having to go to the top of the hill, pick things up, chuck it down, and then, you know, pick it up again and chuck it down. And and um, and I can only throw so far. And after like the 30th or 40th chuck, my arms get really sore. Um, raising Cleo the cat says, Julio needs a bonus. 
He does get bonuses. He's going fishing with us soon, and he's getting paid that day. And plus, he gets bonuses too. I love Julio. He's the man. And uh, he's a hard worker. And this is the first time he's ever complained. But you know what? When me and JoJo were, what, probably about a mile away from the job, and the JoJo's like, my arm is hurting. I was like, you know what, JoJo? I'm feeling a little bit sick right now. We felt that way at the same time. At the time. exact same time, I was like, I was thinking in my head, oh, man, my arm hurts. I haven't even started yet. And he was thinking, oh, I kind of feel yucky. And we laughed because we both said it to each other at, at the, the same, same time. time. Yeah. But the job is almost completely done, and I'm so damn happy. Hauling for you says uh, today was slow for for them. That's interesting you would say that because I typically feel that in the spring when the weather's really nice like it is right now, and it's a Monday, I feel that the phone rings a lot on a Monday. And I don't know if it's because over the weekend people cleaned garages or did yard work and on Monday they're just ready to get rid of it. But um, hopefully it things pick up for you because it's definitely the time of the year for your phone to start ringing. So hopefully you have your website, your Google My Business and all of that is up and running and your phone rings. We want you to be successful in this business. Um. Soil says Julio, the bro bro. The bro bro. <laughs> yeah. And, and one blessing too. Every time we went to the dumps, there was no line. We just pulled right up on the scale. We were in and out in 15 minutes. And something else that's cool we want to show you guys is that the redneck got his logo done. Yeah. Should, we, should we show him or Sure, what? show him. So check it out and let me know what you guys think. Let's see where's it at. We there really it is. I really like it. I like it. It's going to look so good on his van. We have uh, come this. Yeah. And then. Don't mind our crack laptop. Yeah. And the ring light. But there you go. The ring light is kind of. There it is. That's yeah. going to look good on a van. So uh, leave a comment. Let us know, you know, if you like it too. He's super excited about getting his business cards done and putting the logo on. Um, he's going to put it here and then he's going to also put it really big on the back of his shirt and he's going to put it on his van. And, and the Joe Joe's doing his website. Gonna do his website and he just landed a job today. Mm -hmm. And also he has a YouTube channel. So if you want to follow the redneck, on his YouTube channel, I promise you his ass crack will not be showing through half the video. No, on his channel, he actually has a little video um, of our dryer stopped working. And uh, and we were, I was like, oh man, dryers are expensive. Now we have to buy a dryer, our dryer's broken. And you know, Steven, he's great. He, he, um, looked look he said you know what I, i'll look it over i'll i'll fix it i'll tell you what part you need and you just order the part and i'll fix it and i'm like well we should let him try before we throw the dryer away and sure enough he was able to fix it and you know what we recorded him doing it he uh mentioned what what needed to be replaced what it was called what tools he needed and how he did it and um, it, we, it shows him doing it. So, you know, if you subscribe to his channel, you, uh, can watch him, you know, fix our dryer and he'll be putting lots of other things on there too. So I don't have it in the description right now, but after the, we're done with the video, um, I will put the link to, uh, Steven's YouTube channel and all of you should follow him because he is going to do so many how to fix it. So his channel is called Sonoma County's Favorite Handyman. Go check that out on YouTube right now or not right now, right after this video, Sonoma County's Favorite Handyman and subscribe to his channel. Let him know that Sonoma Strong Hauling sent you there. Yeah, and he'll love that. Um, John says, what's up, y'all? Hackett's Land Service here from South Alabama. Can you guys tell us where it was you had your yard signs and magnets made? 
We're looking to get some made. That should be in our description. I'll make sure it is. If it's not, I'll put a link, but it's UZ Marketing. And um, we actually did a live with the people from UZ Marketing. Great company. They price match. And, you know, everybody's really happy with the quality of things that they get from them. So UZ Marketing. And Hauling for You says, dang, love the logo. So we often say, hey, if you need a website done, we have a girl. She also does logos. And um, so Jade created Steven's logo for him. And, um, and he was really happy with it. Originally, we were going to do a cartoon thing. But we actually, um, after looking at both of them, we're like, you know what? really like the picture better. So that's what we went with. And um, also her link is in um, in the description if you need uh, just some um, ads made. We actually had a person that really liked one of our ads. And they're like, how'd you do this? Who did this? And I said, it was created on Canva. And Jade created that ad for us. So um, really, if you need an ad done, a website, a logo, um, hit her up and see if she can help you out. So Jay Money, Driven Lifestyle is in the building. You know who that is. That's the Julio, That's the Julio. a.k.a. the baby maker, Modo. The man that works seven days a week, 365 days a year, goes home and does the laundry, cooks and does everything. <laughs> Uh, Better Curb Appeal says UZ Marketing is awesome. He just got his signs in and um, helped me with door hangers. Great. See? So Bandit Signs, they do work. We got so many jobs off Bandit Signs this year. Some asshole keeps taking them down, but it's all good. We're still getting money. It's about to be our best month ever. And if you guys seen in our little short video, our dump trailer popped off the back of the damn truck. And thank you, junk lords, that we were safe on the road. Even though the dump trailer was pushing up on the truck, I was like, holy shit. But yeah. we stopped it. We were safe. I prayed to God. I put a lock on the pin. So if you got a trailer or a dump trailer, make sure you check it every single day. And make sure you get a lock pin where the hitch is at. Because someone took mine out. And that's how it popped off. The hitch yeah. popped off the damn truck. Very, very dangerous you know, thing to do. And, um, I mean, I don't know why or, you know, who or why somebody would do something like that, but, um, yeah, just a bit of advice, give your truck a walk around before you, you know, hop in it and go. Um, don't just take for granted that everything, you know, is working as it should, because that was super, I, we were following behind Matthew and um, we noticed his hazard lights came on and then all of a sudden his his trailer was, um, you know, it. you could tell that it, it was doing things it shouldn't be doing. So And make sure you cross your chains too. Cross them safety chains. I see a lot of guys at the dumps that have their chains hooked up to their truck like this. That's not safe. You want to cross them so then if your trailer ever pops off, it catches the trailer. So thank God it caught the trailer. It could have been real ugly. Oh, for sure. So um, Hauling for You says, what web host are you using? That might be while you're slow. You don't have a website yet. Okay. What web host are you using to build it? And who's the best for a junk removal website? Because I'm about to browse to build mine. So we did ours through GoDaddy. And some people will say, oh, GoDaddy's not good with SEO and stuff. Works great for us. We've never, uh, you know, our phone rings. So I found GoDaddy to be pretty easy to use. I was not website savvy at all when I first did ours. Um, and I've gotten, you know, much better because I've, you know, self-taught. And so I recently just super updated ours. Um, and you could take a look at it and see what it looks like. Make sure you use lots of pictures, your own pictures, pictures you took with your phone. And start building your website. And also, if you really want somebody else to do your website, you can contact Dave. And the best way to take pictures, too, is through, through a portrait mode. Do every single picture through the portrait mode. 
They look way cleaner and way more professional when you load them up on your website. They really do. Um, we've actually taken pictures with just, you know, our phone in portrait mode. And it really looks like um, a professional photographer came and took pictures of you loading up junk. I think it, they look great. Let's see. Uh, JoJo did a hell of a job. The website is off the hook. Oh, thank you. And just so you know, Julio, $13,700 and something dollars. We got to smash that within like 13 or 14 days to have the best month ever in the trash business. So tomorrow, the eight jobs. We got to put in the work, knock them all out, get that tip money, and get those five-star reviews. I love having the Julio JoJo. Yeah, it's really great knowing that you have a, a worker that's super reliable and he's there every day and um, and it has really taken like a load off of our shoulders. It really has. It's been great. Um, Free Holoff says Wix and Ionos are both user-friendly website builders and both have excellent SEO help sections. Actually, um, when Jade builds websites, she uses Wix. She um, is really comfortable building that uh, website on that platform. So yeah, I've heard good things about that. I haven't really heard about Ionos, but, um, but Wix I've heard of. Let's see. Erica says, just watch Matt and JoJo videos and you will have all the tools you need to build a successful junk removal business. Don't be afraid to tackle these things yourself. Very true. Very true. Um, You know, when we first started, we had a budget of like zero. <laughs> no money at all. <laughs> yeah. And um <clears throat> And we, there wasn't another option. To, we wanted to have a website and we didn't have money to pay somebody to do it. So I was like, well, I, that's, I need to learn how to, you know, do this. So you can learn. You can learn to do anything. You're learning how to start your own business and do junk removal I'm by watching us. I'm so surprised how many women we have watching us now. I seen a lady last time we were live, Holly, Molly, Erica, Melissa, Jojo. I think you started a thing. That's There's nothing wrong with that. Women can get out there and do that. But what I really, really like to see is um, is couples. Couples taking charge of, uh, you know, their life and their future and working together to build something that they're proud of and that they can set their own schedule. Like if you have children and you need to pick them up from school or um, you want to, you know, Wednesdays is, you know, little league or softball and you don't want to schedule jobs and, you know, and you're just working for somebody else and you don't want to do that anymore. So I think it's great. Now, let me ask you a question, Joe, Joe, how many couples do you think like, what's the percentage rate you think of a couples that can go out in a pickup truck, hang out with each other all day, go home, hang out with each other again? What's the percentage rate you think of couples that can actually do that without fighting, wanting to choke each other out? You know, um, it's it takes yeah. In in all honesty, um, to to act. I mean, as a as a couple starting this and maybe you know he has his role and she has her role and um that that could be better um to really be a couple that could be with each other day in and day out on a truck work together without you know power struggles and arguing and that um it is it's kind of rare um they're they're out there we do it really well we do it really well but um it definitely isn't for Every couple, you have it. Uh, a lot has to do with you know how do you roll and how well do you get along? How well do you communicate? It's really, um, really important because you could end up divorced if you're working together every day and you don't get a you know get along. <laughs> um, oh, that's Erica, the boss lady. That's Erica. Jojo absolutely started a thing. Erica, the boss lady in the house. Hi, yeah. Erica. I, I was wondering if that was you. So yeah, hi. So you're working at a thrift store. I want to know, are you working at a thrift store or is that your thrift store? Uh, we were just curious. We're like, did she open a thrift store? Is she working at a thrift store? And let's see. 
My wife helps me and works her hind end off. She's my best partner. See, for some people, it really does work. It works for us. It's working for you. Um, that's great. I think that before us, um, junk removal was something that uh, mainly just men were interested in and they would come across like a video or something or they'd get the idea and then tell their wife, Ooh, I want to, you know, quit my job and get a pickup truck and roll around and pick up people's junk. And I think wives kind of went, mm, why don't you just date your job? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like that, you know, but then we kind of came along and showed that you can make money, you can be successful and you can work together as a team and do this. And then the videos show, you know, um, me also out there working and doing things and making, making it happen. And like, it's okay to get your hands dirty and, and work hard. Um, the Joe Joe's really changed. good at grabbing the small stuff. And we're good at grabbing the big stuff, so it works I out grab perfect. I stuff, too. No, you don't. Come on now. No, you do. You do. I say, JoJo, put that down. Me and the Julio, we oh, got that. Yeah, yeah. So John said he works with his wife, too. Okay, yeah, he Keep does. the money in the family. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, working all day with my wife is my goal. She's Bama strong. All right. Nice. Like that. Um, I wish it was mine. I manage a thrift store for our church. Okay. And that was my original gig before junk removal. Great. Are you planning on getting back in junk removal? That just popped in my head. So it's a question. Um, better curb appeal. Sorry if this has been mentioned in other videos. I've started with short clips on Facebook to explain the job and promote. How does one record YouTube content while also getting jobs done and driving to jobs? So we kind of, so we know what our topic is going to be about that day. We have like a piece of paper, kind of like this. We have a paper here that's just kind of things to talk about. So we have a piece of paper and let's say uh, today's topic is um, how did these people find us? You know, uh, on social media, how to get out there in social media. So what we do does the JoJo take away your spotlight? Yes, she does. No, I don't. I'm you just have here. your own spotlight here. And I'm shining, baby. I'm shining. <laughs> um, so to get back to that. How do you record videos? She asks. So one thing we won't do, like tomorrow we have eight jobs. I know it's gonna be no time to film, so we won't film tomorrow. And for like the last what two weeks. It's been really it's been go, 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 go. So if we have an easy day with like three or four jobs, then we'll film. Yeah. Um, and we'll often like hop in the truck and and we'll before our truck even moves and we'll talk. And, you know, we'll say, you know, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be, you know, about, um, uh, you know, how to shine on social media, how to get your name out there. And um, and. You know, if you watch the videos, you're familiar with that. And then we get to the first job and what after Matt's hopped out of the truck, um, I'll say something like, so we're at the first job of the day and this customer found us on and however that customer found us. Um, and that's really just to teach you like what works and what works for us might not work for you, but um, oftentimes it's the same. And then sometimes we'll, you know, we'll record little clips of us working or if there's something that's kind of hard to tackle, we'll kind of show you how we tackled it. Um, if we're having to cut up a mattress, we'll kind of show you that. So we just and then and then on our way to the dumps or at the in the dump line, we'll talk about the prediction. So you just kind of roll with your day. Pretty yeah, much. You just roll with our day. Um, so we have 47 people in the building. Where's everyone from? Are you from out of state? You guys in the Bay Area? Leave it in the comments. Let us know. Todd and says, also, how much money have you guys made today? So Todd um, says that he had a full-time job before starting this four years ago. And I guess he's been doing this full-time for a year. That's good. Hopefully it's going great for you. Um, 
Speak on taxes. Any pro tips for the new rookie haulers out there? My biggest thing is because... Save every single damn receipt. Save every single receipt. And um, some people do QuickBooks and that works great for them. I have a whole bunch of envelopes and all those envelopes are titled. And one's titled, you know, gas. One is titled food. One is tools. Uh... Uh, truck maintenance, miscellaneous, just anything that pops pops up. And um, definitely make sure you have a place to keep your dump receipts. I was floored that I had a few people that were really surprised that they should be keeping their dump receipts. And I'm thinking, your dump receipts is, unless you are paying employees, um, your dump receipts are going to be like your biggest write-off. No, you're right. Now check it out. Extra Dip has been in been doing trash removal for 20 years in Idaho. So I'm wondering, what is your best find? Leave it in the comments. You've been doing this for 20, 20 years, years in Idaho. I bet she has a big ass house with some property with probably about three or four trucks. I'm just guessing. Been doing this for 20 so years. So like the Joe Joe said, save all your receipts, get a CPA, get a bookkeeper, and anything you advertise, any marketing you do, that's a hundred percent write-off. So save every single receipt. So Todd says he's from Hickory, North Carolina. North Carolina was beautiful. We went there to visit. Someone said Nashville, about four hundred dollars today. Oh nice. he lives near I used to live in Nashville. I lived in Nashville for seven years. Um that's great. So Extra Dip said he found a bloody cow head in a construction box. Holy shit. That's your best find? <laughs> What's your uh, best money find? Biggest come up? That's a nasty find. That's like some that's, mob stuff. That's like, I was thinking satanic stuff. That was nasty. Um, let's see. South, South California. Okay. Uh, Joshua says... High desert haulers caring for Western Slope, Western Slope, Colorado. And what's going on? Long time no see. Sonoma Strong hauling and junk removal. Chapter two, hauling and junk removal. What's going down? And hauling for you says, thank you for the great tips. Orlando, Florida. And hauling for you has only been in business for the last seven months. Well, congratulations to you. I hope your business picks up. Close to Gulf Shores, Alabama. Still have my full-time job. Just got our LLC going and looking to take the plunge. Scary. Yep. Actually, it was one of our little topics we were going to talk about, but there's so many people talking and asking questions that we didn't even like have to use our paper. But it's uh, what does it take to be successful in this business? Um, willing to take a chance. Your your ability to, you know, get a little out of your comfort zone and just take a chance. And um, and yeah, it's scary. It's scary. I'm not going to lie. It was one of the most scariest things I ever did, ever. I mean, starting your own business, you don't know if it's going to work out or not. You got people telling you, are you really going to make money picking up trash? You should stay over here at this job where there's benefits. It's scary. When people don't believe in you, you got to believe in yourself. So starting your own business is a 24-7 hustle. We wake up every single day. It makes shit happen. We don't sit at the house. When we don't have no jobs, we're still working. Yeah. It's crazy. You got to put in that work to get the jobs. Yeah. I love this. Direction Hauling and Junk Removal says, thank, thank you've been an inspiration to us. Got my truck a few weeks ago and I'm already doing some work. Nice. That's great. Good, good for you. Let, we love hearing that. Oops. Uh, only have an eight foot truck was wondering what kind of advertising I should do starting off. What I would do is get a Google, my business or Google, uh, my profile, whatever it is now, 
Post on Facebook, post on Craigslist, post on Nextdoor, post on Instagram, get door hangers, get bandit signs, get a website, get decals, pass out candy dishes at real estate offices, guerrilla market and park your vehicle by schools, by Home Depot, by Walmart. There's so many things you can do to get your name out there, but I wouldn't pay for leads at first. Yeah. Um, you only have an eight foot truck, but didn't we start with that? Started with an eight foot long bed pickup truck. And I started with ads on Craigslist, posted in groups on Facebook. And that's how I built our business. Yeah. And we did a website also. So, you know, while he was saving for, for the truck, we didn't even have the truck yet. We did those things. Um, so when we started, we looked really established and we looked like we had been doing it for a really long time, which was, I think, extremely helpful to us starting out. So Jay Money says. It's scary, but if you never take the leap, you never know what is on the other side of the door, which is true. What do you guys think of the junk removal quote called Holland and free balling? Like not serious. Holland and free balling. Mm, no, that ain't going to work out. Joe, no, that's Joe. Not work. Nobody will take you seriously. Holland so, and free know. balling. I don't know if you meant that like as a joke. Cause that's, that's, that's pretty cute. damn funny. It's cute and it's funny, but if you're being serious, um, no, he's playing around Joe. Joe. Nobody. Really? Because you yeah. never know. You never hauling know. Hauling and free balling. I only do that when I come home after I've been hauling and balling all day and I got swamp ass and I got to take a shower and I hop out the shower with my towel. I'm hauling and free balling. Just like that. <laughs> and I do the helicopter for the JoJo. I'm just kidding. That's that's great. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Elijah uh, is a channel member. So how many ch new channel members do we have, Jojo? We do. We have a couple. We have Sergio Velasquez and Harold Stanford. It's either Gerald Stanf Stanford or Harold Stanford. Not and if sure. you guys want to see some behind the scenes of the big job, how we got the job, how we priced the job, how we tackled the job, we've been posting videos on our membership. So if you want to spend $10 a month or $24 a month to see some behind the scenes, or maybe even learn some knowledge, how to get these type of jobs or realtors on the team or SEO hiding keywords in your website, check out the channel membership. It's a real yeah. game in there. We've, we've been so busy the past two weeks with this really big job that we did not have time to do, um, our regular videos because they take time to edit and that they take a lot more time. So we did um, behind the scenes footage for channel members because, you know, it's behind the scenes footage. So it doesn't have to be perfectly edited. And um, so the huge job and how we priced it and all that type of information is um, is on our uh, members only. So we did 40 loads Today was 40 loads. And Todd said that hill was no joke. We have Sky Redneck. Here. Come on in here real quick. Did you bust a job out? I just busted a handyman job out, guys. That's what I'm talking Sorry about. Busting on you, but not really. How, how did you get that job? I got that job from a customer at Garrett Ace Hardware where I work during the day. So if you guys are thinking about starting a business... And you're not exactly sure how to work a job and start your business at the same time. Use your job to grow your business. So I met four people today straight up and all four of them want to go with me. And the uh, lady that I just went and uh, worked for, she left me a review. She followed my channel That's and good. she recommended me to three more people. That's seven people, guys, in an eight hour day. So check it out. I went to work. I made a little bit of money. I found $100 in the parking lot, met four customers at work, went and done a job, and she's networked me to three people, and she's a believer in God. So God is good, guys. Get out there and freaking get it. You wow. know what? I lost $100 in Hillsburg <laughs> earlier today. This, 
He ate a hundred dollars in Healdsburg. So she it. subscribed to your channel. She well, she subscribed to my Facebook business page. Okay, that's so, awesome. So you that's you guys that's check so, out his channel, Sonoma County's favorite handyman on YouTube. Every we treat every family. No, sorry guys, we treat every customer like family, and that ain't no joke. No, that's a great. Um, Matt is mm. ex, ex, <laughs> Matt is extremely good with um getting out there like um giving you ideas to get right, yourself and put yourself out there and he mentioned to because you know that steven is starting his handyman business but until that's going really good he has a job at ace hardware garrett's ace hardware store and matt said hey you're not going to be at that place forever you're trying to start your own business and get that off the ground so when you greet people at the door you should say hi i'm steven sonoma county's favorite handyman and he just did work. that he did that today and he got like four people that are in four connections in his handyman service so i just thought that was like a really good idea he's at a gold mine right now uh uh what is it uh He's at Ace Hardware, Ace Hardware, where people need to fix stuff. So they he's, need to he's stuff. a handyman. So anyone that comes in there that doesn't know how to do anything, and that's most people. He can get them. Most people he can lock them in. Know how to do that? I think it's great, and it sounds like he just had the best day ever. Get back. Get back. You can let him in if you want. The best day ever. Oh, no. So, um, <laughs> there. One of our channel members asked. Hold on, it's up right here. here. It's up here. <clears throat> there, Mrs. English. Here she goes. She goes, uh, what are some tips you can share for Facebook ads? Looking to maximize our ad spend. So it says that you are a channel member. Look in our exclusive member only videos because Matt has a few that's all about Facebook. And he shows how to post a Facebook ad, how to do the demographics. Exactly. Don't you have a couple of those? I do. Exactly how he does it. Even if you want to call me up, we can talk on the phone after this video. Give me yeah. a call at 707-889-9727. Also, if you are a channel member, either send us a text or an email of your email because we will do a Zoom, like a live one-on-one -on -one, uh you know, Google meet and greet and, you know, you can meet us and talk with us and we will um, help you with anything that we're able to help you with. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you charge her per job or per hour? I charge her per job and uh, I got a $10 tip. What? That's what I'm talking about. Not only that, but the real, the real tip is like, she loved my service so much that she's going to recommend me. And just remember, if you're starting your own business, what she wanted was three smoke detectors and like a hose reel thing installed on a wall. No job is too small, especially when it's you never know how that small job may impact that elderly woman's life. Maybe she can't get up there. Maybe she can't pay an arm and a leg to do that stuff but it i felt good doing the job and it's just an all-around win-win and healdsburg california is all about so she just trusted me number one because i work at garrett ace harbor she says they ain't got hire people that ain't worth their salt so you never know one install of a smoke detector might lead to 100 grand over time of jobs networking people etc so yeah, and Big when time. you when you are first starting, actually, whenever you have a job, but especially when you're first starting, your uh the word of mouth that's word of mouth will make or break you. You want people to recommend your service, talk great things about you, uh, say great things about you. If you don't do a good service, trust me, they will spread that word too. It's that's like it's like, like well, it's right. like this. If you do good work. For one realtor, she's going to tell everyone in the office. You do a, some, a job or a couple of jobs for another realtor in another office, she's going to let everyone know in the office that you did a good job. But if you do a shitty job and don't complete the job, don't sweep up, 
hit them with a super high ass price, they're going to tell everyone in the office. So make sure you do good work. And you need to have business cards. Redneck is making business cards immediately. I've been asked like by like 10 people today if I had a business card. And guess what? Four people gave me their number because I didn't have business cards. So guess who's I even thought about like Amazoning a a business card printer to the house right now. He thought Straight right up. now. Vista print. Yeah, Vista print's the best place to get them. Out. I'm talking right now. Business cards to the customer. So you went what legit yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday, 100% legit. More things are in the work, guys. I don't want to talk about it. I want to be about it. So you guys are going to see some <laughs> cool great. stuff on the channel here soon. The Redneck's going to pull out some of his his uh, tools in his arsenal, and I'll show you kind of what those things do, what kind of money they can make you. And then we've got a cool project coming up, thanks to my people right here. So if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on my channel, You'll see what that's about to look like, and I am super excited for this. This is a uh, this is a new realm for me. I've never remodeled what I'm about to remodel, and I'm super excited about it. And I know I'm gonna just karate kick it in the cornhole. So <laughs> that's what I'm talking so about. So once again, um, mm -hmm. I will have a link to um, Stephen's YouTube channel in the description. But until then. Sonoma County's favorite handyman. You can just search that up in the search bar and check out his channel and watch his video of him fixing our dryer and lots more videos to come. He's actually going to do some work on our houseboat and he will for sure be feeling, filming some of that. So you got 11 subscribers right now. Uh, uh, can hopefully. we bump that up to 20 today? Come on now. That would be awesome, guys. You will not be disappointed. So, Sonoma uh, County's favorite handyman. Got to give my boy the plug. Uh, Got to give my boy the plug. There it is. 11. Let's run that up. So we have Jimmy that's yeah, have. from JL Full Service Junk Removals in the house. I started one month ago in Solano in Contra Costa area, and he's done five jobs so far. So congratulations to you. And uh, Josh says, I do the helicopter for the JoJo. Wow, that made my mother effing day, hey, bro. Hey, hey, Um, So Junk Runner says, how you do you manage, how did you manage the big job while handling all of your regular work? It's been so hard. So pretty much I made sure we had little spaces in between the week to fill in our repeat customers. And we just worked a little bit later. Like tomorrow, we got eight jobs. The rest of the week, we are booked until Monday. So I got a lot of customers that are waiting for us, but we we're able to squeeze jobs in, go to jobs later on, or get there early in the morning. So everything worked out. So we have John that says, off subject, I know, but JoJo, how's the new car doing? Awesome work getting it. Thank you. We actually took that for a Sunday drive to Calistoga. Had some of the best barbecue and just really enjoyed that cute little town. So it's beautiful. We absolutely love it. And, you know, thanks thanks for asking. And thank you guys for helping us get it. Oh, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have it because we used some YouTube money to... uh to purchase that. So, um, you know, thank you so much. And junk one, a said you got 12 subscribers now. Hey bro. Thank Woo! you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you when guys, is that crappy? <laughs> if you guys want to learn stuff about electrical, plumbing, roofing, siding, drywall, tile, it don't matter. The redneck does it. The redneck does it. He built a whole house in Kentucky. Trust me. He can do it. I'm going to have some uh, pictures of that uploaded here soon on my, uh, Facebook Thanks. page. And then once I, Get the website up and rolling. We'll show you guys some of the custom stonework. And uh, I mean, I make lumber out of trees. I like to like to use the two hands that God gave me to create beauty. So if you're one of those people, whether it's hauling trash or handyman stuff, do it to it. Even if you haven't done it. Most of the handyman jobs I ever done, I never knew how to do. I watched YouTube videos. And figured it out. And bam, now there's nothing I don't think I can't do. And that's exactly how we built our business. We watched Tim Doss's videos back in the day from Junk Mob 
watched all of his videos. Every single video had one little gold nugget. We wrote that down. We took his advice. And then we started making videos too. We got so many videos that tell you how to run a successful business, how to price jobs. All you got to do is watch videos and you can do anything. Like you said, how'd you learn how to do that dryer? Off a of video. So you guys want to hear something real. This is, this is real. Uh, back in the day, I think it was 2017, right after I, me, Matt, Jojo, we all kind of started at the same time. And uh, I got a job from T-Mobile to change a couple fluorescent lights. Come on, how hard can a light bulb change be? Well, it can be pretty hard if you ain't ever done it. So I got to the job, I got busy, and I couldn't figure it out. Well, I got my finger stuck, which I skill sawed on another job. Uh, <laughs> learning is not always easy. Anyway, <laughs> I got it stuck in between the, the connectors on the light bulb while I was trying to figure out which way it twists and get it out. Well, I was like 20 feet up on a ladder because these are uh, commercial ceilings. And... Um, the manager busted in. Said, hey, is everything going all right back there? I'm getting shocked by 110 electricity. And thank goodness I've, I'm just kind of used to that. I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it. It turns me on. But, uh, yeah, I was up there on top of the ladder getting shocked. Oh, everything's going great up here, ma'am. I'll be right out. And I j literally just finished watching a YouTube video. After that, I was like, I need to get this done. I need to get out of here. Bam, so I think The Handyman on YouTube had a video on it. And yeah, now I install light bulbs, any kind, any height. We don't care. We'll get there. We have Elijah says, is it true you need insurance to work with realtors? You need insurance anyways. You got to be legit. Yeah, you you want it. And it's not expensive. Um there's a, uh, is, right, is it called Bajork or something like that? Because we have next insurance, but we've heard from so many people that um, they're depending on the state you're in next insurance is, you know, telling people that they don't cover. Removal. I'll see you guys later. On the... All right, for sure. See you on the next one. All right. So, um, you know, look around because really it's usually like around 40 or $50 a month, right? Business Super insurance. cheap. Yeah. Something you definitely want to do is have insurance be legit because realtors will hit you up. People want to make sure you're insured. Like this big job that we had, are we just almost finished? You got to show proof of insurance. Why not have it? You, if anyone comes to my house, I want to make sure they have insurance if they're doing anything. Yeah. And we have, oh, uh, Super Jesus 5000 says, a little over a month in, and he's had his first $1,000 day. Right on. You guys helped me get there, and I appreciate it. And I also see that you're a channel member. So hopefully some of those exclusive videos that are really in-depth on how to do certain things have helped you do that. Um, yeah, we have videos that say how to make $1,000 a day with a pickup truck. And it is doable, and I love hearing that, um, you know, that happened, that that happened to you. That's awesome. But it don't happen overnight. My first goal was $300. No, actually it was $2,000 a month. Then it was $300 a day. Then it was $500 a day. Then $1,000 a day. Then $2,000 a, a day. Then $40,000 a month. So start small. And try to crush them goals and go bigger. Yep. And then we have uh, Rocky Hauling and Junk Removal in Utah. Ooh, it's pretty there. Thank you for all your wisdom, motivation. God bless all and best to you. That's great. Mike says um, he just subscribed to the Rednecks channel. Right on. That's awesome. That'll make him feel so good because he just started that. And um, so yeah, 20 subscribers. And you know, when you first start your YouTube channel, I know when we did, um, well, we didn't do it for the purpose of getting tons of subscribers. We just did it to uh, advertise our business. But um, it just seemed like getting a thousand subscribers was like so hard and so far away. When you first start, that seems like it's a long ways off. So 
Jamie. And the JoJo kept telling me, Matt, make videos, do some videos, make some videos. I was like, okay, 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 I'll try, I'll try. Then I fell in love with it, and I love doing it. Mm-hmm. Whoops, it just says Matt and JoJo. What happened? I'm not really sure I understand the question. So he got another subscriber too. Damn, he's getting all subscribers. Junk, RC Junk TV. License in your city only to work with her realtors. I'm not sure I understand your question. I'm really sorry about that. Let's go, Redneck. Just subbed. Face blue smiling. Overland. Oh, he said he's seen us on 101. Oh, did he? Yeah. What's going on, brother? And actually, we've never had our Google My Business suspended. So we don't have a video on fixing it. They will call you every single day saying your Google My Business is is what? What does they always say? Oh, hi, I'm calling because your Google My Business is... Yeah. If it, you don't... Uh, what is it? Uh... I forget what the hell it is. They call every single day. They do. They try to scam you every single day. But they're saying, did you get your suspended? Um, no. Never have. No. Thank God. Do you? I'm, ask, I'm asking you if your uh, Google My Business has ever been suspended. They call every single day trying to say, we need to verify your Google My Business. Don't fall for it. If they call you saying that, do not fall for it. They will never call you. And also, if you guys want to get some merchandise, we got the Hall and Ballin' t-shirts. So we don't have a video on how to do that. We got the Hustler and Grinder and Go-Getters t-shirts. If you guys want some merch, send us some pictures. We'll put you in the video. Just wanted to say that real quick. Didn't mean to cut you off, JoJo. Yeah, she, she was asking if we have a video on fixing a suspended Google My Business license because uh, maybe hers is suspended. I would check with Fiverr. I know there's people on there that can help you fix it. I know you don't want to have your address showing. You want to have it hidden. And that's one reason why they'll suspend it. So keep your address hidden. And uh, if you need help, check out Fiverr. There's people on there that can help you. I think it costs like 50 or 100 bucks. There's other people out there that want to charge $1,000 to get yours fixed. Don't fall for it. So we've been on for 55 minutes or 52 minutes, JoJo. Yeah. Oh, and we have a, a winner of the, um, um, I put for members only a few pictures of all the wood that the deck had. And I was like, a prize for whoever can guess how many loads. Because our dump truck is 12 cubic yards. So how many loads does this look like it's going to be? And we got lots of different answers. And uh, and the winner was, we are making a buck. They guessed eight loads. And it was exactly eight loads. It was a big ass deck that wrapped all the way around the house. So it was eight loads which i couldn't believe and someone asked where do you get the t-shirts at the hustler grinder go-getter t-shirts you can go down in our videos off a laptop and get the t-shirts we got them in our uh hauling and balling uh yep. gear also, merchandise shelf they're also on your uh on your phone because they're on my phone oh can you go on the phone um they're the, it's the same place you can get the hauling and balling shirts We've been on for 53 minutes. You want to stay on, JoJo, or what? No, we just have time for one more because I'm hungry. Hey, guys, I started Junk Removal Business in Jersey. I asked you guys for help yesterday estimating that hoarder job. Good news. I got the job. 2,600 biggest job yet. Nice. That's Congratulations. Great. They they, did they, uh, he called you yesterday? He actually called me or texted me yesterday, asked me about how to price the job. I thought his price was fair. He shot them the price, got the job right on, get that money. Someone says, I want a hauling and balling shirt. I want a hauling and balling shirt. 
Oh, better curb appeal. He won one before. That's good. And ready? with that being said, we've had our best month yet. I thank the Junk Lords. We're $13,700 away from having our best, best month, month ever. ever. But we're, we're, we're going to get it, JoJo. Yeah. We got like 13 or 14 more days. We're going to crush it. I've um, never been so tired in my life. No? No. Not like the past you too, right? My arm is sore. My neck sore. My back sore. My pockets are big though, so it's all good. Oh. Um, you guys are inspiring. Thank you. And we'll end with... Uh, Eric is saying, love you guys. And we'll catch you on the next one. So we love all you guys.